Here's why you're not feeling motivated at work. So I've been endlessly fascinated with this idea of flow state for a while. You'll hear musicians or athletes or other high performing individuals talk about when they say they're in the zone. It was coined by psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. He's published in journals and given a TED talk that's been viewed over 6 million times. And he argues that pursuing flow is a better path to happiness than pursuing leisure. Now one of the conditions for achieving flow is that there's a balance between your skill level and the difficulty of the task at hand. If it's too easy, you risk boredom or apathy, and if it's too hard, anxiety sets in. If you've ever read Atomic Habits, there's a similar principle called the Goldilocks Rule, which states that humans experience peak motivation when working on tasks that are right on the edge of their current abilities. Not too hard and not too easy. And this isn't just a workplace thing either. This has been observed in behavioral studies of infants as early as seven or eight months old. The probability of those babies looking away from visual stimulus was highest when its complexity was either very low or very high. So what can we take away from this? Well, if we want to get closer to achieving flow, there are only two levers to pull. You can either improve your skill level or look for a more suitable challenge. So next time you're feeling overly anxious or incredibly bored at work, just remember there are two levers you can pull and it might be a sign that you need to change your pace.